Good morning, everyone. I'm just reading my weekday Twin City Values paper. It's a little something that they bring around once a week that just has a few coupons from different vendors and a couple of more pertinent stories. <laughs> and the cover page of this one says, Supply Woes Loom Over the Holidays. This is out of the Star Tribune. Um, and aside from that huge picture, it's about a page long article basically talking about how the retailers are bracing for shortages this holiday season. Because um, we already know that a lot of the supplies and things that people have been ordering are still out in the water. Um, it was on the news yesterday that uh, a bicycle shop had ordered having my morning coffee too, so I apologize. Um, had ordered several new bikes because they were getting different orders coming in and they've been waiting many, many months <laughs> to get the orders that were supposed to be coming in. Now to me, you know, I'm thinking, does this mean that we don't have people here in our own country that can manufacture these products? Why are we getting the products from so far away where it already takes a month or more for things to be shipped in, like a simple pair of shoes or things like that? There was a time when, you know, you had cobblers. You had people that would actually just be working on making shoes and making automobiles and making things here in this country. It, it, it seems like now everything has just changed. We rely upon other nations, other other countries, and, and sometimes there are even countries that um, we don't really have a very friendly relationship with, but yet we want to have that financial relationship with. So I don't, some things like that I don't understand. Anyway, back to this article. It's talking about it being hard to keep things in stock, including gift wrap, Pokemon cards. They're talking about uh, Japanese sodas and candies and all of that. But gift wrap, hard to keep in stock. That's another one of those things that just seems kind of odd to me. And they said that pretty soon books are going to become pretty hard to come by. And I know a lot of people are really into the digital age. And, you know, of course you're seeing this through YouTube. But I like having real books that I can hold in my hand. I can touch. I can turn the page. I really enjoy having real books can read things electronically or listen to them and that's very helpful especially for people with vision loss and um, other situations but things just are not how they used to be like getting my coffee this morning And I have been saying for several months, if you've been watching, I don't know if you've watched my previous videos, about how there was less coffee being harvested this year. Much fewer have been harvested. So, um, I'll lower this down a little bit. So, it makes it challenging. <laughs> Because only a third of the normal amount of beans are harvested. Now you got all these coffee drinkers out there. Are they really thinking about this? And are they thinking about their supply chain shortages? And how the price of coffee is going to go up? Surely I thought the price of coffee would have gone up by now. But I went to get my coffee from this uh, husband and wife that own their own little shop. And, and so I do like to support them because I've known them for many years. They haven't raised the price of their coffee, but they don't have as much available. 
they have about half as much. Where before, it was like, you had the coffee that you could buy, and they would prepare. You could buy bagged coffee beans, you could buy the ground coffee. There was coffee, 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 coffee everywhere. Now, there's half as much. Same price, they're being kind about it by keeping things the same price, but there's half as much available, and their coffee is from all around the world. It could be that they're waiting for the supply chain to come through as well. Um, which is why I encourage people, if you're a coffee drinker or whatever, I hope you have a pot at home. <laughs> um, or a few different pots if you drink different like different kinds of things. Um, and get you some coffee and have it stored up, you know. I have my coffee beans so that I have something that I can grind and make fresh. And then I have, you know, a couple of other brands of coffee that were on sale. So I grabbed a couple of those. So I can use a percolator. I can make a cold brew. I can make French press. Um, trying to have different options. Um, because there may be a time when I want that coffee shop experience, but can't afford to go out and get it. So, it's good to have at home and to know how to do what you need to do to make things work. Shipping costs are going up. It's hard for people to keep, keep stuff in stock. Uh, I, I've seen that, you know, Target is working pretty hard to try to keep as much in stock as possible, but I've noticed that in their, um, Bathroom supplies, such as shower curtains, uh, shower rods, curtain rods, things like that. There's not as much. The shelves are pretty empty. And like I said, over the weekend I went to Target and there wasn't a lot of meat. There was a lot of other stuff. A lot of canned goods and things like that. But as far as like fresh meat for meat eaters, there was one package of ground beef at the particular Target that I went to. And the rest of that refrigerated area was empty. And then there were all of those Instapot meals, which comes with the meat and the vegetables and everything all in it. But sometimes you just want to be able to make your own thing. And it's the same in other places. It's the same in Aldi. It's the same in Cub Foods. You know, on the surface, when you're first walking by, you don't really notice how much things have changed, like the time I went to CVS, and, um, well, I went to Walgreens, and, and you could just see <laughs> one or two little toys on the shelf in the children's area, and the rest of it was blank. With the CVS, things are looking good. Pull the first thing off, there was nothing behind it. Wow. Where's the toilet paper? Where's this? Where's that? So, it looks like we have challenging times coming again. And I'm not saying that CVS didn't have any toilet paper at all. They had the bamboo toilet paper. But I was going looking for my brand. I did end up getting the bamboo toilet paper, which was on sale at the time. Um, but it was like... You buy two for the price of one kind of a sale, uh, which gave me an opportunity to try that out. Um, but sometimes you're comfortable with a thing, and you just want to use that thing that you're comfortable with. We know that there's a lot of changes happening on jobs in different places because of uh, people's uh, uh, religious beliefs, personal convictions, people choosing to do certain things or not do certain things. Um, it's just difficult all around. And we need our health care workers. We need our police and our firefighters. We need our emergency services, including the paramedics. We need the skilled, qualified people to be out there doing their job. What they 
chose to do, what they went to school for, were trained to do, what they have that passion to do. Um, not sure how the next few months or several months, I don't, not sure how this winter is going to pan out for people. Um, but like in the Star Tribune is saying that Target last month announced it had chartered its own container shipping company to regularly bring in its merchandise so that they're not completely running out. Um, and it is good to see that, but then, like I said, there's those times when you go in the store and you say, well, I wonder where such and such is. You go up and, and you ask people, have you seen this? Have you seen this? <laughs> a man did that a couple of weeks ago, came up and asked me if I had seen a certain product. And I said, no, you know, now that I think about it, I haven't seen that. And he goes around and he's asking people that work in the store, have you seen this? Have you seen this? No, I don't think we have that. So people need to be prepared. 